Definitely. Welcome, 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 everyone. Calling in, using these beautiful bowls to help us open up the vibration, letting go of the week. A little sage, creating a beautiful sacred space to do this work, to align our energy, to look at what's coming up in the week ahead. A little sage bowls, all of these ways that we can open our energy up, let go of the stress of the world, and really ground for the week ahead. So welcome, everyone. Terri Ann Hyman here. This is the Empowered Spirit Show. This is my energy focus for the week, where I come on live, we talk about the cosmic forces, we align our energy, and we look to the cards for guidance as well. So we have a very interesting week. I think everybody knows that the week ahead is Thanksgiving, and that really is the focus for this week, no matter what the cosmic world is, right? So we're all kind of thinking, what are we doing? This year's a different year. And I actually talked about it on the podcast this week, especially as super sensitive empaths and how you can really work through the holidays this year, letting go of the fear, letting go of all that energy that you may find yourself in. Hey, Leah, hey, Paul, nice to see you guys. So it really is kind of intense in, in terms of like, how am I going to work through this holiday season? And if you're super sensitive and maybe you have some family stuff going on, it may be a little rough. So definitely check out the podcast. And I offer some tools and techniques to help you move through using the very tools that I teach in my Empowered Spirit program that can be helping you to show up stronger, to not let that sensitivity get to you. I know I'm a super sensitive person and sometimes just one little comment can throw me out. So for me too, it's like working with the energy body, letting it go, moving it out so that we don't have to be so upset or so intense over the holidays. And this year of all years, it's really a good year to kind of change it up instead of all the we used to or we've always done, change it up, let it go. Now, we just moved in Saturday to the Sagittarian energy. We've gone through Scorpio. Scorpio is intense. I've got Scorpio rising. It can be really intense. All right, it's that water energy. It's that deep energy going into your consciousness, looking at what's underneath. So it can feel intense. We just went into the Sagittarian season. Sagittarian has that archetype of like teacher, philosopher, wanderer. So it can help you take all the energy from last month, all that transformation, transmutation, and then open up and go a little different. Find new avenues, find new ways. Let your energy really expand. It is fire energy. And I do find that fire will help you to transmute your energy. We're up at the medicine wheel today, burning away. All right, we're burning away old wood, but we're also burning away that energy of fire. Three times today, three times I heard fear, great reset. All right, and so yeah, many people are a little fearsome of the great reset quote unquote, that's coming up as we move through the end of the year. But fear is a vibration. All right, we talked about this on the meditation I did Friday with Practice Works. Fear is just that lower vibration. So you can choose to be in fear or you can choose to lift your vibration up a little bit more and be in a, a vibration that's gonna help you move through. Find the courage to get out fear, higher vibration. Find the appreciation for your life, higher vibration, gratitude, higher vibration, joy even, higher vibration, peace and love. So when we work with this higher vibration, we can let go of the fear that may be coming in, all right? And that can help you to move forward, to find new ideas, to be more of a wanderer in your life and really open up to a newness of energy that's coming forward. So this week, we're really still moving, uh, working with the, the growing of the light, all right? We had the new moon last week. But the big thing is coming up is really the 30th of the month. And that's what you say opens the eclipse season. We have a full moon eclipse coming up on the 30th. And that really is going to start opening the door for some of that wild energy. All right, here in the States, we know everything isn't quite settled. We're going to see a lot more changes coming in, a lot more ups and downs with energy, a lot more ups and downs with the pandemic as well. So a lot of this energy will really open up. The 30th of the month, we have another new moon eclipse in December. And the big thing that everybody, at least all the astrologers are talking about, is that alignment on the 30th, on the um, summer, uh, summer, winter solstice, all right? And that energy is going to be pretty intense, but it's also going to be opening a gateway to help you find a new part of your life, 
to help you really move into the Aquarian season. Yes, we have to go through a lot of breakdown in order to get through there. But we're listening to a podcast today was talking about it's like going to set the stage for the next 20 years, 20 years. Where do you want to be as you make some changes and you move through this energy? Where do you want to be? Right? Everybody has gone through changes this year. I don't know anybody that hasn't, right? And so some have been good and maybe some have been a little more intense than you wanted. So what can you let go, burn away, do a ceremony so that you can begin to make new steps in your life? Now, I know that one of the things that can be hard is is really where does that going to go? How do you do it? I want to get there now. Okay, I'm one of those. I just want to get there. I'm a visionary. I'm a visionary. I can see down into the future. The problem for me is that gap between where I am now and what the vision is. And I can get super frustrated because I want it fast, right? One of the things that I've learned being out in nature this year, being at the medicine this wheel is little by little changes can happen. Pick up a rock, move it around. All right. And it may take a little time, but those little steps can make all the difference in the world. Right. So today we're up there. We're doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then we finished our day and it's like, okay, we did make a little progress more towards that bigger vision. All right. So this can really be an analogy for your own life. Where can you make those shifts coming through to help you make that change in your own life. So as we move through this week, we have the holiday energy and we also have the ability to really start to clean up, let go, move energy out of the way so that you don't have to bring it into that new year. We have about what, six weeks left to the end of the year, something like that. Now's the time to clean it up. Now's the time to let it go, all right? The fall energy has that, like you rake your leaves, right? I did a lot of that this weekend. Just like you rake your leaves, you break them in piles, you move them away, you let them transform the energy. And we want to do the same, all right? We do have the energy of gratitude, Thanksgiving coming in, but also the fall season teaches us to look at the sunset, to look at our day, beautiful sunset today, and see the struggles, your adventures in life. And those are the lessons that we learn and grow and move forward with. So that's really how you can kind of learn that energy for yourself and use it day by day as we move through this time. Because again, as I mentioned on the winter solstice, we have a big alignment coming in that can really change your energy. And that eclipse season starts on the 30th of the month, another big time. So it's like, also like, think back to where you were in March. What was going on for you then? What shifts can you now pick up and move forward in a way that's going to help you really feel so much better about your own life, all right? That's the energy we have. We also have the energy coming in. We talked about this on the podcast last week, family energy. So family energy can be tough this time of year. You can have judgments, you can have questions. Why are you doing this? Who do you vote for? So we do need to learn how to prepare for that as you move through this week. And one of the ways that we talk about that is grounding our energy. Really being strong in who you are, making little shifts in how you show up is going to help you move through this season. And because we're not all traveling, I know I can. Unfortunately, I can. I'm not traveling. Last year this time, I was in New York visiting with my old friends from where I lived in Port Washington, my daughter, my son. We are in Princeton for the holiday. So it is a time to like really look at where you are this year. And if you're not traveling, do something creative. Use the time for yourself. All right. Again, we talked about this on the podcast. Use some time for yourself. All right. I'm looking forward to doing a little Zooming, making gingerbreads on Zoom. Okay. Who would have thought Zoom would have been this popular? But you can make those shifts. You can take more time for yourself and really get into that deeper part of what your aspirations are. And that strengthens your ability with confidence to show up for who you are right now. We're going through major changes. And so we have to find the ways in which to do it. All right. Don't let the fear get with you. Find the ways to raise your vibration. Let's just take a moment, pull our energy in from the week ground and set some intentions for the holidays for you. All right. So wherever you are, if you can for a moment, just close your eyes. Taking a nice deep inhale, bringing that breath up the body and exhale, bring it all the way down deep into the earth, letting go of the week, calling in your spirit, feel that presence coming right into your heart. Calling in your spiritual body, pull your energy in. Begin to ground with Mother Earth. Feel the feet on the floor. 
opening up the breath, inhaling and exhale, sending it all the way back down deep into the earth, inhaling and exhaling, feeling your energy coming in as you align your spirit with the greater energies around you, spirit, God, creator, universe, however you want to look at that, feel that alignment coming in for you. And all of the energy that surrounds you right now, the ascended masters, the guides, the angels, your teachers, feel all of that energy aligning with you right now for guidance and support. As we look to the teachings of the medicine wheel, the energy of the season of fall is in the direction of the West. The West is where the sun sets, where we look at our lessons, we offer this time of thanksgiving and gratitude for all the many things we've learned. This is how we grow. Calling in all the directions for guidance and protection to the west, the north, the east, and the south. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Calling into your spirit. Setting an intention for your holidays this week. To see the holidays, see the joy, the peace, the love, the light, whatever it is for you. I'm sending a little Reiki, using that long distance energy, setting it out ahead of us. Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen. See all the many things that you want to see coming forward for you this holiday. The love, the family, the creativity, the gingerbread houses. Notice how you feel as you see these things coming in. This is how we attract it, how we live it, how we bring it forward. And allow those emotions to elevate up and just radiate out into your auric field, mag magnetizing your field of energy with these elevated emotions. Releasing the attachment and just setting that energy out there ahead of you so that you can move right into it this week. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. Starting to feel your energy centered, grounded, a little calmer, bringing it back coming back. I know it always helps me to pull my energy in on Sunday night and prepare for the week. I hope it does for you as well. All right. Hey, Mercedes. See some other people joining. Hey, Ernest. How are you? Hey, Kat. All right. So if you would like to have a card read for you or come on the show and do a reading, you can hit over here on Instagram to come into the show. There should be a little thing on your icon, but I'm going to go ahead and do the cards that we have drawn. And I have to laugh because I couldn't have picked them better. I thought, are these just for me or is this from the podcast or what? Because it really is in alignment with what we were talking about on the podcast. So the first card that comes up is the Ten of Cups. Now, this is a really beautiful card. This is about that heart energy, celebrating family. It's like things are working well, but it was reversed. So it does remind us to say, are we feeling in alignment with our family, with the love, with our heart? And what do you need to do to turn this card around? That's how I like to work with reversals because this is available to all of us. And it's just a matter of shifting your own perspective. Maybe you do feel a little strange for your family. Guess what? The next card that comes up is the lover's card. It also was reversed. So this is all about like looking within yourself, loving yourself so that energy generates out and that you can connect with all those around. Hey, Millie, how you been? So this is the main focus this week. How can you find that harmony with your sisters, your brothers? How can you open your heart and feel all of that gratitude? Really important. Thanksgiving is definitely a time of gratitude. And that first card was the lover's card. What do you need to do to feel more love in your own heart? And that's going to help you feel the harmony within your own life. Now, the second card was the six of wands. And I love this because this talks about doing your work. Like this is like, congratulations, you've done your work. 
So when you move out, all that fear we've talked about, the anxiety, the stress of showing up, you will feel this. And this is like passion, desire. I am showing up for who I am. And let me tell you right now, calling in all the light seekers, all the healers, everybody that does this work, we must shine our light. That's what's going to move out the fear. So yes, we must do it. We must stand up, have that vulnerability to stand up as well. Very important right now. And the third card is interesting because we do it last week. This is that illusion energy I was talking about. Like sometimes we can dream stuff and think it's really real. And then guess what? Something comes along and bursts your bubble. It happens to me. I'm a visionary. I dream. But this reminds us to not just dream, but to check in in the physical world. Are you in alignment with that energy? Are you ahead of yourself? I do that. And if you are like me, just pull it in a little bit, break it into smaller parts. And that's what really helps and works for me. All right, so this week is all about finding the harmony, the love, the light in your family and your circle of friends. Again, cups is our heart energy, 10. All right, that's that completion starting again as we come into the holiday. Love yourself even greater. As you love yourself more, it radiates out into the world. That's what we need. Love will conquer so many things. Be strong in knowing that you are accomplishing what you want. Use that passion and desire. Stand up for who you are. Bring it forward. We need it. We need it. We need it. Yes, light workers, healers. However you want to say it, star seekers, I am talking to you. And then the third one is the queen of pentacles, which we had last week. So again, checking in with your illusions, checking in with your dreams and making sure they're not just illusions, but that you can bring them into the physical world. All right. Beautiful cards as we move through this week. Definitely follows right along with the podcast talking about sometimes family can be intense. Definitely does. All right. Let me know how they resonate with you. All right. Checking in over here. I don't see Tina. I know she said she wanted to come on for a reading. She must have gotten the time zones confused. But if you'd like a card or want to come on, let me know. All right. Maris. Maris, the six of crystals. All right. Crystals is our earth, our pentacles. This is um, also sixes are about like community energy. So these are like things are coming forward for you. You're opening up to that energy that you have in the earth and you're bringing it forward. It also shows that you're a leader. Look how this person is standing out. Leader of community. So never doubt that work that you're doing. All right. Never doubt it. Take it forward. Ground your little feet on the earth. I know that you know what I mean. You've got it to move forward. All right. Beautiful card for you. I love that. I love the colors in it too. All right, Ernest, how you been? All right, Ernest, this card is for you. Ernest, we have a Knight of Cups. All right, so this is generally about a message coming forward of the heart. All right, so open your heart. Look for that message. All right, don't doubt the heart energy. All right, sometimes, I don't know, for some reason, Ernest, I just had a thought about, are you making a choice between two people? I don't know why that came in, but let me know how you feel. But really, it is about opening up to finding that message of the heart energy. And maybe that message is what's coming forward. Let me know. It just kind of came right in. All right. Kate, how you doing? Happy Sunday. We missed you last week. All right. Kate's in my intuitive program, intuitive path. You got the king of of cups. Now we drew this last week too. I know I shuffle guys, but it came forward, Kate. So this is about being a master to that energy of the heart, being really strong in how you feel, let go of any doubt or fear you have of opening your heart again, all right? And really knowing, all right? Um, The cups energy too is like also bringing in that fairness of life and that love for who you are and that love for those around you. So really dropping into the heart and being a master of that energy. I know you can do that as well. All right, Kat, this is a card. Gorgeous cards this week, I agree. You got the high priestess. All right. That's a card to remind you. Use your mystery teachings. Use the mystery schools. Look how she has that cape. I love this because I used to always do this. Whenever I have to go somewhere I felt a little different or out of place, I'd put on my cape. And it reminds me of that. All right. So, but don't be afraid of using these tools and these skills in your everyday life. That's why we do this work. All right. That's why I teach this work. That's why I have my empowered uh, mentoring program so that you go out into the world and you really use this work in your everyday life. Definitely. All right. Wear that. Go back to your mystery teachings as you do that. Leah says great cards. Card one. And she wants a card is so spot on. During meditation this week, I realized how I treat and respect and love myself sets a tone for how I want. Yes, Leah. Very 
Very true. Definitely. All right. So Leah would like a card. Good to see you, Leah. Knight of Swords. All right. So Knight of Swords. Swords is our mental plane. Knight is a message coming in, but it also talks about like being really, really clear about what you're putting out there. Look at all the rings because any idea you put out there, it's going to have those ripples coming out. So this is also too taking a moment, being really clear about those thoughts that you have, releasing any of the negative or lower vibration so that you will create that ripple effect that you can do for your life. I love that. Definitely. Haha, ha, thanks here. It's interesting, but I'm not having to choose between anyone romantically, maybe between friends and I don't have much time to spend with them recently. All right. How funny is that? Don't forget that love is important in all aspects, even yourself. But generally, the um, generally, Ernest, the the night is about a message coming in of the heart. All right. Those two cups and one person standing in just kind of reminded me about that. That's why I got that. All right. Good to clarify for sure. All right. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Mercedes, congratulations on your Reiki too. That's awesome for sure. Let's see if I missed anybody else. So if you're in the local Birmingham area, we will be doing, hey, Millie, a card for you. We will be doing a, a winter solstice. Um, did I skip Carla? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Wayne. Um, we will be doing winter solstice, Bridget Lee and I at Magic City Meditations that will be coming out. We are taking all provisions for COVID the whole bit, but it's too big of a day to not do a ceremony. All right, it is on a Monday. All right, so Millie and then, um, and then Carla. Carla, I don't mean to skip you at all, my dear. All right, you're just up at the front. All right, so Millie, the 10 of wands. All right, so 10s are that completion number. Wands is our passion and desire. So this is like really coming to completion of work that you've been doing, really honoring, honoring and celebrating this energy for yourself. All right, things will start over, but it's like almost like do a dance. All right, you've been working really hard. Again, wands is our passions and desires. And 10 is seeing it to that completion energy so you can begin again. Perfect card for as we move through this. All right, Carla, of course I didn't forget you. Queen of Cups, Carla. All right, I love this card. It goes with that King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is like that nurturing female owning your energy. And Cups is our heart. It's also our intuitive energy. So it's also about nurturing yourself first and then you nurture others around you it also is a reflection kind of like even what leah had said when you feel in alignment with your own heart that reflection sends it out to the world at large right so what is it that you can reflect out greater in your life with your heart energy loving yourself so that it does radiate out into the world all right leah says love it thanks terry ready to send out high vibration thoughts absolutely I really cannot stress it enough, everybody. Staying in the high vibration as we go through this great reset, they're calling it. Don't let fear get you down. Know that change is what we need and be a part of making that change. All right. Be a part of really understanding how you holding that vibration can shift those around you. Definitely. All right. Mercedes card. All right. Ten of swords, Mercedes. So this is of the mental plane. And so this is a great time to let go of any of those thoughts that are really kind of killing you, so to speak. Let it go so that you can begin again with fresh new thought. Exactly the energy we're all moving through right now. Exactly what we need to do to let this stuff go. Do a ceremony. Burning bowls. We do burning bowls coming up now. Let it go. Write it down. Burn it up. And even using your new Reiki 2 skills, really important. Use that Seha key. Let it go. We don't need to keep thinking all those old thoughts over and over and over and over again. We really don't. All right. Let me know how that resonates as well. All right. Did I miss anybody? Carla, how was that card for you? All right. I think I did get everybody here. I don't know what happened to Tina. Oh, well, Tina, I love dearly. I just had a dream about Tina. It was so funny. All right, guys, it is a good time to go into your dreams. We're going to see that coming in. As we move towards the winter, we're pulling our energy in and in. Now is the time to do that inner work so that you aren't fearful of what is ahead, so that we can trust the energy and the guidance. Because right now, there's so much information out there. Nobody knows what to trust. You have to know what to trust. You have to do your work. So now is a time to really learn some energy work, raise your vibration, stay strong in what you're doing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Check out the podcast. 
great tips for the holidays. I am offering my spiritual upgrade breakthrough calls. If you'd like to know how the Empowered Spirit program can work for you, get on the phone and let's talk about a complimentary call and I can let you know how it would be. All right. See if I missed anybody else just joining in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carla, sorry about that. All right, everybody, let's pull our energies in. Take a nice deep inhale. Returning to that intention that you set. See this energy coming in very clearly for you. Sending lots of love and light out, out to the world, all around us that we can find that gratitude for all the many blessings. Yes, it's been a hard year, but gratitude is an ascending emotion. It can help you move through. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling yourself centered and letting this inspiration guide you, letting your intentions for the holidays guide you as you move through this week. Thanks again for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.